Hello everyone, it's a beautiful morning in Tripoli, Libya, country number 184. <laughs> Libya. This is my second to last difficult country to enter in terms of visas after Venezuela. So I'm thrilled to have the chance to explore this North African nation which few outsiders get to visit. The first thing to know about Libya is that it's huge, almost three times bigger than Texas. Wow. <laughs> this is a breathtaking view if I've ever seen one myself. For safety and security reasons, I'm only allowed to visit the capital and largest city called Tripoli along with a few places on the northern coast. So keep in mind that there's a lot of the country that I have yet to see. The second thing to know about Libya is that it's currently undergoing a civil war right now and I could hear it as I was sleeping last night. Five minutes. Mm. Really? It's one in the morning in Tripoli, Libya and I can't sleep because there's freaking gunfire and bombs out the window. Listen to this. So as a result, most of this video was shot on my iPhone and GoPro because they're very paranoid of cameras. With that all being said, I will now be taking you guys around the beautiful capital of Tripoli. Tripoli, a city of more than 2 million, is a Greek word that means three cities as it's located on the edge of the desert on rocky lands that project into the Mediterranean Sea. My first impressions are turquoise waters, off-white colored buildings, and genuine people. It's good, live, yeah. inshallah. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. We come. Name? Drew. Joe. Drew. Grove. No. Drew. Drew. Yes. Drew. Good. Nice name. Yes, Drew. thank you. Much like Eritrea, the Italians colonized Libya in the early 20th century and they left behind incredible architecture and coffee shops which add to the uniqueness of Libyan culture. We're now walking through the Italian Quarter which has these amazing structures built by Italians between 1911 and 1941. Although a strict Islamic nation today, this oil-rich country was an early adopter of Christianity and that's why you can see many beautiful churches. Tripoli's old town, called the Medina, is magnificent and the highlight of the city. We just entered the old city, the Medina of Tripoli, and behind me is an old Roman arch that is dated back to 160 AD. We are now entering the souks here in the old city. It still retains that ancient look and feel and it's colored by white and blue. The one thing about the Medina, it just feels really, really old. It's just incredible to be here. The Medina is dotted with relics from the Roman and Ottoman eras, like these pillars slammed into concrete. I've never seen anything like it before. When it comes to cuisine, Libyan food is fantastic. The food is spicy. Yeah, you have to have an iron stomach. It's a perfect blend of Mediterranean, African, and Italian influence. My favorite dish is couscous, which here is a different variation than in Morocco and Tunisia. Last but not least, my experience in Libya has been enjoyable mostly because of the people. By now, you've probably noticed a common theme in my videos that North Africa, the Middle East, and the Arab world have the kindest people, and Libya is no different. The good thing in Libya is uh, they love helping each other, they love laughing. It's like a friend. When you don't know him and you just say salam, he's he gonna say hi to you. It's like he, they are friendly here. This is the most beautiful thing in Libya. They are so happy to see a tourist here because we are so infrequent. In fact, my Japanese friend Atsushi and I are the only ones. All things considered, I enjoyed interacting with the people here and everywhere I went, I was greeted with smiles. Hey guys, just got back to my hotel and I want to admit that that was one of the toughest videos I've ever made in my entire life. It's the second most unsafe I've ever felt behind Yemen. And while I really tried to make a positive video about Libya, it was so stressful and I was so anxious the entire day. There's so much police. You can hear bombs in the street. I was taking pictures and videos of the places that my tour guide said I could, so it was fine. But even in those places, um, it's still really hard with so much police patrolling the streets. You know, people are kind of in a state of panic and they're kind of hesitant everywhere because of the war, which I completely understand and I respect it. Um, but just want to let you guys know I did my best to show you uh, Libya coming here as a tourist in this moment Hope you enjoyed the video and tomorrow will be an incredible story as I'm going to visit Lepnis Magna Which is one of the most magnificent and preserved Roman towns in Africa It's about a three-hour drive east of here. So yeah until then thank you guys for watching and have a great night 
Cheers from Tripoli. It's prayer time? Yeah. Prayer time. It's wow. prayer time and everybody's going to the mosque. So cool. I'm Drew Binsky and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.